Meet Die Dead Girl, my main account. Ever since the collection log was released, I've been working on collecting all the different items in the game. After starting my Chunkman series, I've been neglecting the account, but now it's time to resume collecting and share the adventure. Last episode, we added 4 new items to our collection log to get to 1109 items in the log. Those items were 2 pieces of the Blood Moon outfit from the Perilous Moons, Saratomans Light and the Dagon High Rope Top. We also reached max level for construction, so only 6 skills remain to max the account. Our current tasks are obtaining either a Hunter Guild unique for the medium task, buying the last item from MTA for the hard task, and obtaining the fish sack for the elite task. Let's try to get some pearls with our nice and feathered friend. For the fish sack we need 1000 pearls. I actually think we have like one or two in the bank. I'm not really sure anymore. But what's actually interesting here is that for aerial fishing we're only 7 out of 9. We're not only missing the fish sack, we are also missing the golden tench. So maybe, just maybe, we can get another lock slot within this 100 pearl conquest. We've already gotten the 3 pearl fishing rods, so I'm really hoping that we get a golden tench just to make this grind for the fish sack a little bit nicer. We're also going to get some hunter XP and some fishing XP and I've been doing some karambwen fishing on the side. So we're almost 96. I'm not really sure what 100 pearls will give us in terms of fishing XP, but let's see if we can actually get the level by getting 91k experience. Just over one third of our goal and that's already the fishing level and we've been doing this for about two hours and we've only reached 34 pearls. So this is definitely not going fast. I guess we'll spend another four hours and get like another 200k XP for fishing. Oh yes! Yes we got a tench! Ah, oh, finally! It isn't that much after we got the level, but yeah, I cannot wear it because I, yeah, I'm wearing the bird, but okay! Golden Tench, only one item left to complete the aerial fishing log. Just a fish sack and that's gonna take a while. But in the meantime, I will trade in the Golden Tench because that will bring us 100 pearls closer to our goal of the fish sack 135 this might actually complete our goal of getting 100 but i kind of just want to go through with just 100 plan and get to 200 the tensions are just a nice bonus hey and there we have 50 mulk pearls at the second day it's taking quite a while and I'm really happy that I chose to do 100 at a time. Otherwise, this would take ages to just get to the 1000. Hey, that's 200 already. Didn't think we would get this this fast. Well, fast is a bit of an overstatement. This took another two hours. For this session, I did some before dinner as well, so let's say this was like 3 to 4 hours today. And yesterday we also did like 3 hours, so yeah. If we wouldn't get any golden tenches, this would be a like 70 hour grind. Which is actually crazy to think about. But yeah, 200 mold pearls. Next time we roll it, we'll go for another 100. Maybe we can get another golden tench as well. We are expected to get 2 to 3 before we get the fish sack, so let's hope we get a little lucky on those so we can get that fish sack a little bit faster. But for now, let's go to MTA and get our last item there. And now on to some more clicking. We are at the mage training arena and we only need one more item here to green log. 
and that are the infinity bottoms we already have the enchantment points needed we already have more than 5000 and we need 5000 on the dot so we will need to do three rooms and we will start with the graveyard room as they have changed that that we can use bones to peaches and that will give us extra points in comparison to the bones to bananas which is just amazing we need 450 graveyard points according to the wiki it's like 1040 points an hour so we should be able to do this within the half hour mark and indeed half an hour later and we already are at 450 possessed points at the graveyard room i really like the change they did here like you can see the health i have at the moment i almost never get hit because you can dodge everything so really nice change and the double points with bones to peaches also just makes such a big difference but all right let's swap gear and i'm probably going to do the telekinetic room next we also need 450 points let's see how long that will take in comparison to the graveyard room and another maze guardian put on its place and we have 450 possessed points in the telekinetic room in about two hours so all in all this is definitely better because yeah pretty much the maze guardian moves faster the telekinetic grab is faster we always run so definitely a good change but still on the slow side i still like the graveyard room more but now we're probably going to go to the worst room and that's going to be the alchemy room i'm really hoping the changes they made were big enough although we do need 500 points the most points of all three of them we starting with 81 points so there's some light in that tunnel hey there's virtual magic level 105 we've been getting a lot of magic experience here and we've already gotten about 200 points so we're actually fairly close to getting the alchemy points done and we're only like 50 minutes in so this is actually a shorter grind now than the telekinetic room which is something i wouldn't expect so the changes they made with only having six instead of eight of the cupboard here and then extending it to a minute instead of 30 seconds and we have a take five now instead of a open the cupboard and then search for one so that's a very big difference in the speed you can actually do this which is really nice if i counted correctly this should be the last alk 419 points together with the 81 that should make 500 let's see if we deposit them in the coin collector how many xp we will get 83.8k xp and indeed a nice 500 points that means that we are finished with gathering all of the points now all we need to do is to grab our rewards let's trade with the rewards guardian we are looking for the infinity bottoms all green which means if we confirm that will be our newest item added to our collection log posted in the chat as well for log number 1111 and also if we now look at the mini games it is now green magic training arena 11 out of 11 also 1111 and I only now noticed that there is a bank chest here, just next to the reward guardian. Like, this wasn't here, right? Before they updated this? Because I always, like, went to this bank here to get all of my stuff out. But has this been here every time? I don't think so, right? Back to our dashboard. 
we made a very nice dent in the fish sack grind with 100 pearls we fished up and of course we need to complete the golden tench we got as well is it in passive yes it's the first item the golden tench has been obtained and then if we go back to our dashboard we got 200 out of 1000 for the fish sack next time we get this task we will go for another 100 and so on until we actually get to 1000 to buy it but our hard task has been completed the infinity bottoms i must say i enjoyed that way more than i would have imagined even though it's the last item i think they really did a good job in making it's just much smoother to get all of the items, to get all of the annoyances out of the minigame. So if I ever need to do it on another account, this won't be as bad as I had to do it for pretty much this entire account except for this item. But anyways, we are hard 89%. Can we make it 90 with this completion? No, not just yet. We're close but not just yet let's clear out the elite task let's generate a new hard one nihil shot ceremonial rope piece we still need two of the ceremonial rope pieces let's see if we can get a matching task for the elite one if we need to go back to the god wars dungeon that would be quite nice to see let's see what it is oh no it's raids again we've been quite dry at the raid so i can actually imagine that we can get one pretty soon right let's start with some raids before we give up and eventually go for our heart or our medium task why do i say this is because we haven't had the best luck in raiding if we look to our collection log we have done about 160 normal completions of TOA and 7 experts and we've gotten 3 light bearers. If we would count all of these raids at a rate of like 3.5% which is probably the average of what I've gotten so far, we would have a percentage of 577 to get a unique, so 5.7 uniques and we've gotten three so definitely not the greatest because the spread of the three that we actually got were all the same item there's then also the option to get one of the jewels over here we've gotten two of the three and it's a one in 180 to get one of the three so we are actually fairly close 15 raids and we are on raid to get the last one for the other raid the chambers of zerek we have done a decent amount of completions with two uniques and for that we actually have the exact amount of points we have gotten and we have gotten 3 million points overall it's about 800,000 something points to get a unique if we have gotten two let's say that would have been 1.7 million points we are also dry here for like one and a half the reason I don't really like raids is because they take really long and we aren't really rewarded for them eventually our luck should come back so i guess i'm gonna do some solos and see if we can actually snag one pretty quickly but i kind of doubt it if we find a team i'm going to go for a chamber of Zerek run so we will have a bit of both to see which one gives us some more luck first we did end up doing a singular cox run and even got lucky to see a purple sadly it was not in our name but a dex was a 5.3 mil split so that's always nice to see oh it's purple this is the sixth solo tombs of a mascot and it is a purple it's glitching out a little bit though not really sure if it's the 117 plugin but oh i'm so happy that it is purple okay we know the deal we do not we do not want a fourth ring 
Give me anything but a ring and I'm happy. Give me, please, something that is not a ring. Please, 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 not a ring. Not a ring. Come on, not a ring. It's a fang. That's perfect. It's not a ring. It's a fang. Yes, I'm very, very happy with that. Oh my god, I for a second there my heart was racing that I would get another ring and then I would just completely be so fucking mad. But it's a new collection log slot. It is a fang. Oh my god, this actually didn't take all that long as we did six solo TOAs and we did one cox where we got a split. Let's go back to our dashboard and let's complete it over there. Finally, a raid task we were lucky on. We are currently 62%. If we complete this unique from raid, will we get 63? Yes, we are. Nice. Let's then clear out the hard task. Generate a new hard one. Ooh, unique from Zolra. We're also quite dry there for the last fang, but okay, might be a good idea to go back there. But let's see what the elite task is going to be first. Let's generate it. Oh, one unique from the Moons of Battle. I don't really fancy going back to the Moons of Battle just yet, so I think I'm gonna start with Zolra. Alright, back for some Zolra. If we look to our log, the only thing that we are missing from the normal drops is the Magic Fang. And we are already at 1125kc, so we're quite dry on this one. We have gotten quite a few other items in the meantime, but no Magic Fang just yet. And we also do not have any of the Mutagens, Jar or the Pet, but those are really rare, so I don't really expect one of those. So we're pretty much here for the magic pang. I'm not really sure how many kills I would do, but I think I'm gonna do at least until 1250, as that would mean that we would be about two and a half times the rates at that point. And then one thing else that is left for Zolra is the last combat achievement that I need to do. We are eight out of nine, and we only need the snake rebound where we use vengeance to kill Zolra. I think I've done this in the past already, or tried anyway, but didn't go all that well because of the small snakelings and such. But let's see how this goes, how many kills we need to do before we can actually get a vengeance kill. Well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, that was 1kc and I got it. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna complain about this. But alright, that's all of the combat achievements for Zolra completed. No need to worry about that. Let's just go for that one little fang that we still want. Five kills then and we get an elite clue scroll. Hey, there's another elite clue. Kill number 1162. Well, uh, I kind of forgot to put my shadow play on. I got an elite clue, was really happy to see another drop, like an elite clue, and then the pop-up came on and we got the pet snakeling. We are only at 1185 kill count. And I think the pet is like a 1 in 3k, so we're definitely lucky on that one. And this also concludes another task, not the task we are on, we will still need to go for the magic fang. But this concludes a task to get another boss pet. Which is really nice. It's been a while since we've gotten a PVM pet, but pet snakeling is a really nice one to get. Hey, there we have another elite clue. At kill number 1226. We're close to the 1250 mark. And this is going pretty well. Well, the Tebow is pretty much carrying us, so it's not really that hard. But yeah, 
let's see how far we go until we get some drop as we haven't gotten anything well except for the pet of course and there we go that's kill number 1250 i'm actually quite enjoying myself here i don't mind going another 100 kills maybe a bit more we'll see where we're going to end it at the end maybe if i die too many times i'm gonna call it quits but that's not now yet holy fuck um well that's special that's a serpentine visage and an uncut onyx in the same drop holy fuck this is really rare uh i, I i'm a bit speechless but i really like the money I'm, on the other hand, a little bit annoyed that neither of these two is the fang we still need. So let's pick them up before they disappear. And if we go to our collection log for Zolra, well, that's our fifth Serpentine Visage and our fifth Uncut Onyx. And I think all of the Onyxes are from this boss. So yeah, uh, 10 of these two fangs still zero magic fangs and we did get the pet so i'm not really sure what is happening here but uh okay uh, it's a good amount of money i guess and there we have kill count number 1300 still going strong hey there's another elite clue kill number 1313 Oh, we got it! We got it! The Magic Fang! 1356 KC! Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Our last Fang. I was actually kind of enjoying this grind. was watching some shows on the side while doing this, but... Alright, I, I was very committed to go to like 1500 KC, but we got it. We still need the Tanzanite, Magna Mutagen and the Jar of Swamp. So we'll definitely be back here. Not sure when as there are no elite tasks anymore for those items. But yeah, finally a magic fang. That together with the pet snakeling, I'd say this was a pretty good loot we got collection log wise but also of course in just pure money like we have a tracker of 45 mil but that's with some kills from the previous time we were here 45 mil yeah it's just a decent boss nine elite clues as well i really like the boss but it's probably also because we just annihilate the boss with the twisted bow I think if we had a less setup, it wouldn't be that great, but this just melts the balls. It's just so relaxing. But yeah, Magic Fang obtained. Let's go complete the Magic Fang and the pet on our dashboard. Alright, let's first of all, before we complete our hard task, let's go into the task list for an elite task. We want a boss pet. This is actually the last one of the three we need in the elite tier. With the pet snakeling. A very unexpected surprise, but a very welcome one at that. Let's complete it over here. And then let's go back to our dashboard. We are still 63% elite. That didn't go up just yet. And this is a little bittersweet that we finally completed the last Zolra unique task. At the very start I did Zolra, probably in a worse setup. I didn't really like the boss, it was kind of tedious and annoying. But I don't know, after 1300 and a bit kills, everything just went quite alright. Our setup got better, the kills went faster. It's just a very nice flow. But for now, let's go and complete it we are 89 percent hard can we make it to 90 percent if we complete this 
Ooh, yes we can. 90% hard. We are very close to actually finishing the hard tier as well. Let's now choose some other tasks by clearing the elite task and generating a new hard one. Ooh, one unique from the gauntlet. I still haven't done all that many gauntlet KC. I really should go and learn it. But let's see what the elite task is first. Ooh, one unique from the DT2 bosses. I really want to go to Duke with the new Arclight. Because while well, Gothic Sleep is now in the game, but it's only been like a couple of days and the synapses are so expensive. So I don't really want to go there just yet. So I think we're gonna go for our first Gauntlet Unique. And with that, we have reached the end of the episode. Some really nice gains today. Finally our first Golden Tench, we completed the MTA log, finally obtaining a unique from TOA that isn't a ring, and we finished all normal uniques at Zolra together with a very nice pet as a bonus. Next episode we will try some gauntlet, so that will be interesting to see how my skills are if I don't have the possibility to use some overpowered gear. For the rest, have a nice one! and see you in the next episode.